Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about data structures. Data structures is the collection of elements and the relationship among the elements. It is used to manipulate the data and for algorithmic designs and programming languages, data structures are very useful. Basically, there are two types of data structures, linear data structure and non-linear data structures. If the elements of a data structure are arranged in a sequential manner, then it is called linear data structure. It contains stacks, queues, and linked list. Non-linear data structures. It is opposite to linear data structure, which means the data is not arranged in a sequential manner. And non-linear data structure contains trees, graphs, and tables. Stacks. As we know that stacks is a linear data structure, which means the data is arranged in an ordered manner. In stacks, insertion and deletion of elements always takes place at the same end. And it follows the mechanism last in first order. It is commonly used with two major operations, namely push and pop. Push operation is used to insert the elements into the stack. If the stack is full, then we can't add the elements into the stack. Then it is said to be stack overflow. Pop operation is used to delete the elements from the stack. If stack is empty, then it is said to be stack underflow. This is the example for stack. Firstly, this is the empty stack and now we can say this as stack underflow. Next, by using push operation, we are inserting the element 1 into the stack. By using push operation, the elements 2 and 3 are also inserted into the stack. In stacks, at a time only one element is to be inserted. As we know that stack follows last in first out mechanism, the element which is inserted last into the stack, it is removed first from the stack. So here the last element is 3 and it is eliminated first. This deletion is done by using pop operation. By this example, we can understand that how push and pop operations are performed in the stack. Stack operations are push, pop and display. Push is used to insert the elements into the stack and pop is used to delete the elements from the stack. And display is used to traverse the elements which are present in the stack. By using these operations, user can easily identify the data. This is the program for stack operations. We can implement the stack operations using arrays and linked list. Now I am explaining the stack operations using arrays. This is the header file into stack of 10. As we are using arrays, stack of 10 indicates the size of the stack. Choice. It is the user's choice whether to insert the data, delete the data or display the data. N is the integer value of choice. Top is the topmost value of stack. Both insertion and deletion takes place at a top only. X is the integer value for both push and pop operations. Here, I is the elements in the display operation. These are declaration of values. Void, push, void, pop, void, display. These all are stack operations. In top equal to minus 1 means initially there is no elements are present in the stack. Printf enter the size of the stack, scan of percentile d, ampersand n. Here we are initializing the size of the stack. Printf stack implementation using arrays. Here stack implementations are push, pop and display. While of 1. Here we use while, while loop for to choose only one choice at a time. Printf push, pop, display and exit. Printf enter the choice. Can of percentile d ampersand choice. Here we are giving the choices to the user and user have to choose a choice to implement the stack. Switch off choice. Here switch statement is used to test the cases and here the cases are push, pop and display and also exit. Here we are having four cases. Case 1, case 2, case 3 and case 4. Case 1 is push operation. Case 2 is pop operation. Case 3 is display operation. And case 4 is break operation. Sorry exit. Why we are using break statement here? Because 
without break statement the program continues to the next labeled statement so to avoid that we use break statements here and default statement is used for none of the statements in the switch body get executed if user chooses any other choice by default it prints invalid choice if the choices are not equal to 4 then it returns 0 next is void push here push operation is performing if top is greater than or equal to n minus 1 print of stack overflow which means the stack is full in the full stack we can't insert the elements into it top is greater than or equal to n minus 1 if it is false then it jumps to else statement printf enter the value to be pushed here we have to choose the value which are which we want to insert into the stack top plus plus here the index value of stack is increasing stack of top equal to x as we know that stack follows last in first out mechanism always the newly inserted element will be the top element of the stack this is for push operation and next is pop operation void pop if top less than or equal to minus 1 printf stack underflow here the stack is empty from the empty stack we can't delete the elements top less than or equal to minus 1 if it is false then it jumps to else statement printf the popped element is percentile the stack of top here the topmost element is deleted from the stack top minus minus the index value of stack is decreased here this is for pop, pop operation next is display operation void display if top greater than or equal to 0 here 0 is the index value of the stack which means at least one element should be present in the stack to traverse the element otherwise we can't display the elements which are present in the stack printf elements in the stack i equal to top here i is the element and it is the topmost value in the stack i is greater than or equal to 0 means at least one element should present in the stack i minus minus it decreases the index value of the stack printf percentile the stack of i at last the elements are displayed here top greater than or equal to 0 is false then it jumps to else statement and prints empty stack means there is no elements in the stack so we can't traverse the stack this is about display operation this is the program for stack using display pop and push operations let's see the output for this program enter the size of stack here i will give 5 5 is the size of the stack next enter stack implementation using arrays here it gives choices to user push pop display exit i want to push the elements so i enter 1 enter the value enter a value to be pushed i want to push value 5 again it is giving choices push pop display exit i want to push enter i want to push element 7 again it gives choices now i want to push enter the element is 9 enter now i, now I want to delete the element so i choose choice 2 enter i want to
here we can see that the popped element is 9 because the topmost value of the stack is 9 so it is deleted first now I want to display the elements so I choose 3 so the elements are 7 and 5 now I want to that's it you can see here I have given the size of this stack 5 and I pushed elements 3, 5, 7 and 9 and I deleted element 9 this is the traversal of the stack 7 and 5 now I want to exit so I enter 4 so here I exited that's it this is the program for stack implementations using arrays thank you